hello my friends it's so good to have you here again and i'm always super super excited that you guys are doing me really good and i appreciate you thank you for attracting new subscribers to my channel you guys are really so much my lucky star and i'm so grateful thank you thank you thank you and don't forget this is saffron media and we are in the business of giving you the latest hottest most reliable and authentic news as it drops by the hour and now we have another story and it says that the aviation stakeholders hills federal government's plan to bail out airlines well this is uh, a very interesting news uh, because the airlines have been laying fallow because of the um, coronavirus pandemic and it's saying there has been no work and a lot of money will be going down because they are just packed without working but before we go details into this news if you haven't subscribed hey guys what are you waiting for come and hit the subscribe button right away and also if you haven't hit the notification bell ensure you do that right now please guys give this video a thumbs up and please help us share this video help us go viral help us to be known to others and we will love you and appreciate you thank you guys come on let's go details into the news condemn evacuation of nigerians of nigerians by foreign airlines aviation industry stakeholders have applauded the plan by the federal government to provide bailout for domestic airlines to assist them to surmount the challenges of the covid 19 pandemic the stakeholders at the house committee on evasion however condemned the decision by the federal government to engage the service of foreign airlines to evacuate nigerians overseas addressing a web conference on monday the minister of state for budget and national planning prince clem agba has said the foreign government was also looking at how to support the aviation sector. Like you know, a lot of planes are packed and this is causing almost 21 billion naira loss on a monthly basis. We are looking at how to provide some form of bailout support to ensure that the industry doesn't die, he said. Speaking, the minister, speaking on the minister's comments, the chief executive officer of Aero Contractors, Captain Ado Sanusi, described the government's plan as good development, noting that the airlines are looking forward to receiving the support as, bail, as without a bailout, many of the airlines would go under. Sanusi, however, added that the billet must be well organized and transparent to ensure that most vulnerable airlines get support. He explained that the bailout should be different from the previous ones that were, mis up, that that were misapplied and it should be a grant or soft loan targeted at solving particular problems for the airlines. This is very commendable, but the bailout should be tied to achieving certain goals for the airlines. Maybe some airlines want to use it to pay salary of workers, to lease aircraft, to pay for training, aircraft maintenance or other objectives. But the money, whether soft loan or grants, should be given with defined condition, which may include that the beneficiary airline must not sack their workers and not seek service outside the country when there are local concern that can efficiently provide such services, Sanusi said. The chairman of Airline Operations of Nigeria, AON, Captain Nogie Megisain, also hailed the government for its proposed bailout, saying the airlines were happy because the body had made such an appeal to the government in the past. He identified a problem of airline as global because they are they are the most affected by the present COVID-19 pandemic. Magazine said because of the critical role airlines play as a catalyst to a nation's economy, there should be a global support for the operators. Government all over the world face one challenge 
to kick start the economy after the COVID-19 lockdown. This is because the aviation is a catalyst for economic development. So, to bring the economy back, nations support their airlines. Members of the European Union, China, the United States are supporting their airlines. It is good Nigeria is also doing the same. We thank you to the federal government, he stated. Aviation industry consultant and principal partner, Etmi Free Group, Mr. Amos Akman, commended the federal government for the planned bailout and called on the Ministry of Aviation to drive the process. We welcome the announcement because the bailout is required, but we need clarifications. We want the Minister of Aviation to drive the process. Our ministers know us and he is part of us. His ministry should take the responsibility of drawing up the bailout application and implementation program. The main challenge in the, in the recommencement of flight operation is the rules, the practices of carrying passengers. While the coronavirus exists in our society, the new ways of life and procedures will affect the airline, airline's economy. This is why the bailout is welcome. But who will benefit? What portion goes for what? We should learn from our past mistakes. Currently, only one airline in Nigeria has the resources and capacity to operate more than five scheduled domestic routes daily. This statement assumes that the bankers of that airline will restructure its existing facilities to reduce the stress of meeting repayment deadlines, Akwan said. He added that as the lockdown eases and the industry prepares to restart operation, we need to know the kind of assistance we will receive, the framework to fit in our new operational system and procedures. Meanwhile, the AON and House Committee on Evasion have con condemned the decision of the federal government to engage the services of foreign airlines to evacuate Nigerians overseas. The chairman of the House Committee on Evasion, Honorable Nolim Naji, condemned the decision, decision to shun local carriers in the repatriation and called on the federal government to employ Nigerian operators for the evacuation. Nanji frowned on the engagement of foreign airlines like Ethiopian Airlines, British Airways and Emirates to aircraft stranded Nigerians from Dubai, London and the United States by the Foreign Affairs Ministry and Presidential Tax Force, PTF, on COVID-19. The lawmakers called for the immediate cancellation of the contract, the employment of domestic operators, nothing noting that America and Britain recently evacuated their citizens from Nigeria without the use of other countries' carrier. The action of those responsible for this action is not only a disservice to the local airlines, which have done their best to provide patriotic service to Nigerians, but equally detrimental to our national pride and dignity, Naji stated. He urged the Minister of Evasion, Senator Hadi Sirika, who revoked the landing rights already granted the three airlines. AON also condemned the decision to patronize foreign airlines for the evacuation of Nigerians abroad. It described the federal government action as disappointing after it made after it after it made an earlier statement that it would engage two domestic airlines for the evacuation. In the statement by Megasin, the association said Nigerian Airlines had the capacity to evacuate their compatriots. He expressed the shock that despite the fact that Nigeria does not have the resources now due to low oil price and despite the fact that airlines are struggling to keep their workforce due to huge loss in revenue, a government agency would engage foreign airlines to evacuate Nigerians when the country has airlines that could do that. AON is shocked and disappointed by the decision taken by the federal government to evacuate Nigerians back to our country with foreign airlines. So, we are calling for the government to identify those officials who took such a decision.
guys thank you so much for staying through i think the aviation industry is really correct and right because now they are not able to pay some of their staff where companies are laying off staffs and there's an opportunity for the nation for the federal government to help them boost their own economy but yet they are not um, patronizing their own but rather using foreign uh, uh, um, aircraft to and bring in their people i think that is poor of the nigerian government and i think they should have to do better to boost their own economy hey guy if you have any comments about this please endeavor to drop your comments in the comment section please if you have anything to add to this you can also drop it in the comment section and if you haven't subscribed what are you waiting for come on hit the subscribe button right away join the family you are so welcome and we love you so much thank you guys for staying tuned i appreciate you don't forget to share this video don't forget to give us a thumbs up thank you have a pleasant day bye